what's up you guys welcome back to another session of life of minecraft here we are we are getting ready to um uh, well <laughs> okay hold on i gotta show you all this new stuff i've done off camera like i promised last time last episode um i'm not gonna be too too loud just because it's like seven in the morning barely and my city is just barely waking up but like i've done a lot of crap so as you can see i expanded this area a little bit that was all gravel and i got all the blocks so i can start using some lint for a lot of arrows so i've got that all backed up and as you can see i have a lot of new crap so i have all these saddles if you're wondering how i got those right here i have this um <laughs> this fish rod that has unbreaking three luck of the c3 and mending and then i because of that i have a new bow called the ass bow and it's flame power four and breaking three and mending and holy frick dude so it all started when, um, oh yeah, I also cleared out all these trees and all the grass, and then I made a new farm. So now we have a new farm, and that that one farm down there is still the same. Yeah, that's all. That's kind of different. I did go strip mining. I have my own strip mine now, um, down here, and I'll show you that in a sec as well. Um, yeah. So it all started when I made a regular fishing rod, and I went fishing over in this fishing spot that I have over by the swamp. And um, I found a lucky ass um, fishing rod. And it has an enchantment of just unbreaking three and luck of the sea two, which is already insane enough. And then I, um, I used the luck of the sea two to just keep fishing and fishing and fishing. And so I finally got another one that had mending on it and um, almost the same stats, which is why it went up to luck of the sea three, because I think it also had luck of the sea. I think if you combine them, it actually it's like stronger so that's why i have three three and then mending which is amazing because now that basically means it's never ever ever gonna break <laughs> it's infinite now at that point um and i mending is one of those new things i haven't known about because i haven't played minecraft in a while and i just learned about that that's so freaking awesome because it works on a bow too and it might also work on a sword because it works on tools that like you use to collect experience so a sword an iron pickaxe um, it wouldn't work on an iron axe since you don't get experience from trees. Um, shears? I don't know if you get experience from shearing. I also got books. Um, I got sharpness 3, knockback 2, and then protection 3 on one book. That was the first book. I was like, holy crap. Just because of this one. That's amazing. Then I got efficiency 4, power 4, and unbreaking 3, and then I got protection 3. Um, I also have been fighting a lot of mobs at night and collecting their, their drops. I've just been collecting a lot of stuff. Um, fishing has gotten me so much fish. Like, I'm never going to run out. I also got name tags. And here's uh, one of the other ones, which I figured out what Curse of Vanishing is as well. I looked it up. Um, that's kind of a dumb enchantment. It makes sense for, like, servers and if you're playing with other people and you don't want them to have your tool. If they try to kill you for it, then poof, it's gone. No one can have it. So I guess that makes sense. Um, I finally made one of these since I needed an anvil. Um, what else have I done? That's just because I've been terraforming a lot of the land around here. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and a lot of other stuff. Um, yeah, I have a lot of redstone because of my, uh, strip mining. And speaking of the strip mining, I've actually been kind of successful doing it. Just because, uh, I know that's annoying. I'm gonna have to, like, make another level down so I could just run down the stairs really fast, but... That'll be for a later date. Probably me off camera. Oh yeah, there's a cave somewhere around there. I don't know where. Sounds like it's to the right. But I don't feel like doing a cave. I've been doing strip mining and oh my gosh, I've done so much. Like there's hallway after hallway. And I marked um, very specific ones with uh, routes to diamonds. So if I go this way... There. Poof. I found some diamonds. And I think I found a total of 26 so far in this whole entire mine. But the reason why I'm not mining them, I'm just mining around them, is to wait for a fortune of any level book from fishing. And once I get that, then I'm going to use that on my uh, pickaxe. And then I can just simply pick up those diamonds and multiply them. Mostly for Fortune 3. If I get any other Fortune, though, that's fine. I'll just use it. There's plenty more diamonds where those came from if I just do more strip mining off camera, which takes forever. 
I also found leather boots from fishing, which is really weird. I didn't really need them. I kind of just... <laughs> they're there. Um, I've been creating bookshelves and stacking up on those. Just so when I finally go to the nether, I can, like, um, start brewing. Enchanting and doing all the magic stuff. And here's my little farm. I guess I know it's floating. It kind of looks weird, but I'll fix that later. For now, I've got this really efficient farm that I use for um, multiplying all my supplies. So, like, for example, right now, throw these eggs and see if we get any chickies. And let's also make these big cows reproduce. There we go. Yay. And I could kill one of them for leather. Let's show you the power of Aspo. <laughs> it's overkill, dude. Oh, I could use the leather to make a book. Move out of my way. Um, I think I also, yes, an update to the farm. I found carrots by, I was just fighting zombies and, and skeletons and everybody all around. And I found carrots from one of the zombies. So now we have carrots in our farm as an addition. I'm hoping to one day find beetroot and then um, melon and pumpkin, so I can start growing those as well. And this I want to be as flat as where the farm is at, so it's going to be level eventually. And I finally made that staircase as well that I was complaining about because I didn't want to go all the way over that spike and then around this way. So now it's a lot easier. Uh, I can't fit. Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, I've been trying to stack up on arrows just because I... I want a lot. A lot of arrows. Uh, also, I didn't know how cool it was, but, like, I was fishing, and I got 10 ink sacks at once. Like, 10. A stack of 10. Like, how? That's great. I also got the Nautilus shell. I don't have any drowned in my area, but I was able to get the Nautilus shell from just fishing. That's cool. Um, I'm thinking today I want to go a little further out and see if I can find any villages. And I might just pillage them <laughs> just for their stuff because I need their stuff. I would like more bookshelves a lot faster and I would like maybe hopefully find a blacksmith. I'd also like to find uh, maybe go to that jungle over there and collect some cocoa beans. So that's another goal for today as well. Um, and then I'll probably do some fishing as well so I can get that men or the uh, fortune book I want. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's not six. There we go. Now we can make books. That's a weird recipe. I remember back in the day, it was a whole different recipe. I forget what it was. I think it was like three paper and three um, leather, but they changed it. Oh, sunset is coming. Dang it. I guess I could just waste some time real quick. Um, anything I need to do home-wise? Hmm. Not really. Yeah, I'm kind of really just waiting on the sunset. Yeah, these are all potion ingredients. This is the potion chests. Um, yeah, that's crazy. I'm already ready to go to another. I just, I'm not going to mine those diamonds until I... Until I have the stuff I need. I need fortune 3 so I can multiply that 26 diamonds into like a whole stack and a half, hopefully. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Turn it into 40 or 50, 52 diamonds. At least double it. Come on, sunset. Let's go. Yeah, and I also explored a lot of the uh, swamp. So a lot of the swamp is actually lit up for the nighttime. So it's safer as well. And then also the, the roof forest right here on the edge by the farm, I've lit up a lot of that so that way it's safe as well. So I have a giant amount of space that's just nice and bright now. Just take a sip of my juice here. Well, I'm waiting for this damn sunset. No, not yet. Mm, maybe when that touches the tree. Right. No. Yeah, there we go. In fact, it was a little bit earlier, I can tell. All right, let's go and explore. 
Uh, I don't need this on me. Oh, no, I don't have room. No. Okay. Let's take a second stack of this, just in case. Um, I think yeah, that'd be good for now. Okay. So where I wanted to explore was, let's see. Let's go to that forest first, since that, that's the easiest goal there is. It is just uh, getting cocoa beans. Wait, I don't think that's the forest. I think that was a, uh, <laughs> I think that's the part of the root forest. But I could have sworn I saw jungle from far away. I just don't know, I don't remember where it was. Is it through here? If I could find a slime, that'd be great. Slime boy. Let's see. Um, no. Okay, cool. Now, where were, I could have sworn I seen a jungle though, not just all roof forest. Hmm. I don't have a map, do I? Damn. I forget that I don't have a map. My little mine is over there, isn't it? I forget where exactly it is, but I'll find it one day. Oh, I'm not going to go through this. It's too much trouble. But is there any way I can get on top of it? Let's see. Usually, like, a little, like, start of a hill like this is kind of promising. Then you can get up from it. All right. There we go. Link links. Yeah, see? Perfect. Perfect way to get on top. Parkour. Oh. Is that where it stops? No. Um. There we go. Just make the tree the staircase. There we go. Now we're on top. Um. I see snow, extreme hills, more swamp. Um, there's the savanna, and then there was a desert over there. But I thought I saw jungle somewhere. Or am I just thinking it's all... <laughs> see, that's the thing. It's from far away. You can't really tell. The render distance is kind of lowish. Just so that way I can at least record properly. Um, can we get on top of this hump of trees? Yeah, we can. There we go. Dang, it's going to be a bright sunny morning this morning. Um, are they, is that a floating tree? <laughs> is there a fire over there or something? Cheapies. Okay. Hmm. That's just a really big tree, isn't it? Yeah, huh. Okay, let's go this way. Curve around this way with the trees. No, yeah, I haven't seen a single witch's hut. Which is, okay. Oh, it's just a normal land now? Yeah. <laughs> oh, but I can get back up. These trees are so connected, it's fun. Um. Oh no, I should have brought my bones. I could have had a doge. Doge? Oh. It's all right. I'll be out here long enough for nighttime to come around. I'll slay some skeletons. I'm like fearless now because of my like, <laughs> because of old Aspo here helping me out. For real, like I, no monsters can stand against me because of this bow. Ooh, hi everybody. There's some sugar cane over there, but I don't really want it right now. I jump. Yep. There we go. Potato time. Splash. I'm surprised I haven't seen a lot of drowns. They usually like to be by the river biome. Maybe the spawn rate's different on Xbox One versus PC because, oh my gosh, there's like 50 of them lined up along the shoreline. Or Xbox One, that's weird. Like, why are you all here? But here, I haven't seen any. Except for Baby V, of course, but he's gone now. 
moved on to greater things. There we go. Just a little bit of extra coal. Oh, and then the amazing thing about this bow is if I'm hungry and I want cooked food, I can just shoot them right away and they'll die. And then I'll get their uh, cooked meat. More coal? Isn't this called a stone biome? Let me see. Uh, where is it at? It's on the left. Right. Biome mountains. Okay. Guess it's just the mountains. Nothing interesting. Sorry, I'm moving my uh, mic away from my mouth just because, like, sometimes it can get a little close. I know during the last session I was talking a lot, and my peas would, like, make really annoying noises. What's up here?